When I came to Grand Bay nine years ago, I said to you, and I will always tell you the word of God. I made that promise to you that I will always give you the word of God. That is not the place for this. This podium, this ambo, is not a place for Mepui. It is for the word of God. And I promised you nine years ago that I will always share with you the word of God. Why? Because of this text. And I remember sharing this text with you nine years ago from Ezekiel 33. It is my responsibility to give you the word of God. Because if I don't, the Lord will hold me responsible. And I will go to hell. I am not going to hell for you. I will share the word of God. Whether you like it or not. See what you mean? That's all right. But I will go to heaven in the process. I will warn you when trouble is coming because that is my job. With that said, Anupali, let us talk. I'm going to say some things you're not going to like. But I will say it. Over the last few months, we have been waking up to news of young men getting shot. Joseph is one of them. There have been others. People in other parts of Dominica and over the Caribbean the world are saying, whenever that happens, Grand Bay again. Grand Bay again. But the other villages and the other towns in Dominica, places all over the Caribbean and the world, should not put on any garment of self-righteousness as if they are better than Grand Bay. No. Nobody should put on a garment of self-righteousness and say Grand Bay again as if they are exempt and the problem is not theirs. No. This is not a Grand Bay problem. This is a national cancer. This is a national cancer. It is a problem all over Dominica. Grand Bay seems to be the epicenter now because we are having more funerals because of that cancer. But the problem is not just in Grand Bay. Hello, ready? It is wider Hello. than our community. No. The question is, Baron, well, no, no. who is responsible for the death of this young man and others like him? Who is responsible for this death and for the other deaths like his? Yeah. We might say, well, it's the guys or the people who shot him. But no, that is just a symptom of the problem. There's a bigger problem than that. Who is responsible for his death and the deaths of others like him? Number one. Law enforcement officials. Those responsible for the enforcement of the law are equally responsible for this man's death and the deaths of others like him. Those who are responsible for enforcing the law of the land, who do not enforce the law of the land. Those who allow drug dealers and gun smugglers to operate with impunity. We know who they are, and we don't clamp them down. And we allow them to operate with impunity. If we allow that to happen, we are responsible for deaths like that. All those responsible for enforcing the law and who do not, who turn a blind eye. When we turn a blind eye to illegal drugs, we are turning a blind eye to illegal guns too. Because the two go together. Where there are illegal drugs, you're going to have illegal guns. Because guys have to protect their merchandise. If we don't clamp down one, then we're letting another one to flow. 
if we are not enforcing the law and we allow drug dealers and gun smugglers and gangbangers to operate with impunity in Dominica, we will have deaths like that. There will be more funerals like this. And we will blame the young men and say they are foolish. But the problem is bigger than them. It is bigger than them. Sisters, brothers, law enforcement officials, this is a wake up call for us. Policy makers, our brothers and sisters in government, this is a wake up call for us that we have to exercise the power given to us by God to save the lives of our young men and our young women. This cannot continue. We cannot allow drug dealers and gun smugglers to operate with impunity in our country. This is a crime. Who is responsible for this man's death? And deaths of people like him. The Lord says to me as watchman, speak to them and I will speak to you. Who is responsible? Who else is responsible? Community residents, us, we, we are responsible, all of us here. How are we responsible? When the police comes into our communities to search homes and to arrest people who break the law, some of us curse the police. Some of us say nasty things to the police. Some of us want to throw things at the police because they shouldn't come into our community to search anybody's house or to arrest anybody. When we do that, we are doing much more than cursing the police. We are planting seeds. And we do that in the presence of young people and children. When our children are corrected by teachers and those in authority, instead of giving the child a volley too, like we used to get long ago, we take our foot and we go to the school and we give the teacher what I'm coming for. When we do those things, when we curse the police and say nasty things to law enforcement, when we make trouble and fight teachers, because they correct our children, what we are doing, brothers and sisters, is we are teaching our children disrespect for the law. 